We've had it back one day. Not even a full day. We got back last night. And we have restricted performance. Back on. Car cannot be driven. We'll have to be towed back. Well, it's not my first rodeo with the Land Rover. I've got a Discovery 2. It's a trail truck. Never let me down. I actually got, I have two Discovery 2s. Um, in uh, like around 2011 or so, got an LR3. Just uh, never had an issue uh, at all out of that vehicle. Oh, and I guess we had a, Ran a Range Rover Sport 2010 model. They never had an issue. Had a water pump that needed to be replaced once. And that was it. So, this past uh, June, I um, was needing a bigger vehicle. Uh, everybody was outgrowing the, uh, um, the Honda and uh so we sold the honda and uh kind of narrowed it down to land cruiser um possibly a uh, uh you know land rover either range rover or discovery so we decided to go with the discovery five um searched was kind of running out of time in arkansas you get a sales tax credit for selling your vehicle and so yeah, basically about 45 days. So I started the pretty um, earnest search, um, auto trader, just, I mean, going through the whole list of things. Um, so ended up uh, finding what uh, was unbelievably hard to find, and that was a Discovery 5 HSE Lux. I wanted um, diesel, had to have headrest, and, uh, headrest with the entertainment system and had to have the entertainment center with the with the integrated headrest um and it needed to have capability plus two as long as it had those three things it doesn't sound like much but uh, you do a search within 400 miles of here at any given time you're maybe going to find uh maybe eight diesel discoveries so that that really starts to narrow it down when you when you looking for those other things um, long story short we ended up finding a uh, a, uh, a, a black HSE Lux diesel and checked all the boxes and had basically every option on it uh, with the exception of uh, uh, the, uh, the, the 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 screen um, for your gauges that uh, uh, it's but fully digital or the fully HD uh, sc screen so it's got regular analog gauges uh, but other than that it had everything and uh, so it was uh, about seven hours from us and uh, so we uh, uh, you know kind of jumped on it pretty quick it's a fast process ended up driving to uh, to Alabama to go pick this up and uh, we uh, um, you know, it's, it's, it's everything they said, um, very, very clean, uh, 14,000 miles on it. It's a 2017 model, uh, remainder of the, uh, factory warranty, but it was also a CPO. So you get the, uh, the, you know, it gives you a couple extra years, um, and, uh, up to a hundred thousand miles, I believe. And, uh, so anyway, we went, went out there, picked it up, drove it back. That was in the middle of June. And uh, somewhere along, um, I think it would have had to have been um, about the middle of August. Uh, wife gets in the vehicle one day, going to go uh, run to town and, and go get uh, uh, pick up food or whatnot. And um, 
calls me and uh, is made it maybe one mile from the house and a uh, warning light came up and it said restrictive performance. Um, so I kind of did a quick Google search on that. That's uh, that's actually a fairly uh, um, the bad thing. It's, it's, it's a red light, so I mean, you do not want to drive it. She pulled over, cycled the key, um, it went away. Um, it did it maybe a couple more times. Finally, just felt like okay, we probably we're gonna have to take this in, and so we uh, we 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 had it towed. They said not to drive it, so we towed it to the uh, to the closest uh, Land Rover dealership. They took great care of us. Had it for about nine days or so. Uh, while it was in, we decided to uh, there's some some holes in the service, so we just wanted to get back on a, on a regular maintenance schedule, and make sure everything was up. So they went ahead and topped off the. Uh, uh, the diff, uh, the diff tank service that it that it needed and everything, uh, did a full um, multi point inspection and got got everything current. And so uh, it's all all good. Went and picked it up. It's great. Uh, about the end of September, so it was on just a, less than a month from when we picked it up. Same issue. Uh, this time it happened uh, when uh, so, so it, it's always the same scenario. Start it up, drive it, maybe for two minutes, and then the uh, restricted performance comes up. So uh, well, when they had it back in in, in August, they did determine that the air um, intercooler um, hose was had a deformation in it. So they, they replaced it, uh, reprogrammed the PCM, and uh, went through that process. So this time they get it back, um, had it for over a month. Again, super, you know, we have more than one vehicle, so it's not an issue. They, uh, they kept it, uh, told them just, you know, try to fix it, whatever you can do. You know, just don't want to have this issue again. So they tried without, uh, uh, they drove it 150 miles just at various times, times of the day, different temperatures, different humidities, different things, just trying to get it to come back on. No luck. And so last night, yes, the tenth, we went uh, um, and uh, picked the vehicle back up again, and drove it home, no issue. And uh, so this morning, which was uh, uh, it was a little cool this morning, uh, nothing out of the ordinary, but uh, anyway, get up and. Uh, <laughs> uh, Wife starts it up, pulls out of the driveway, and uh, it was a, about three minutes had went by. She was back at the uh, the back door, and she's like, "It did it again." And so, um, anyway, we've we've tested it this evening um, again to see if we could uh, maybe replicate uh, uh, that process. Uh, so we've tested it tested it once. Um, here in just a second, we're gonna I'm gonna test it again, and uh, and see if I can maybe get it to uh, to do it. But uh, unfortunately, it's gonna have to go back in again, and uh, um, which is sad. I have uh, I haven't even had a chance to do a a, a review on it. Um, you know, it's uh, I I mean it's a fantastic vehicle. I mean, like I said, it's. it's got the it's got the cooler box it's got the infotainment system is exceptional um, massaging and cooled and heated seats uh, you know the entertainment um, system that's integrated into the headrest is, uh, is um, it's it's an amazing it's an amazing system uh, it's a seven seater uh, it's, it's got the uh, you know you can orient the seats exactly the way you want them even uh, from the uh, from the app um, on your phone um, and uh, you know st st start it from the app I mean it's I mean it's, it checks all the boxes as everything big thing is had the, uh, the locking rear differential and um, you know that was that's that's huge just uh, uh, so aftermarket wise it's something that's just it, it would, I feel like would be worth worth more in the future um, to have one with the locking rear differential, but uh, anyway, uh, we'll go uh, one more time. Also, going to do it in the in, in the morning. And but what they're telling us at Land Rover, it's not storing the codes. So even though it's giving the code, 
they can't retrieve a code, so it's it's unretrievable as far as being able to determine maybe like what what could be the uh, the cause of it. So um, anyway, it's quite quite perplexing. Um, I hesitated to even make the video, but uh, it's, it's one of those things. I mean, I like to make an informed decision. I like uh, reviews. Um, I just wanted to, to do this to, you know, if anybody else is looking at uh, either a used or a new Discovery or a Land Rover in general, uh, you know, just, uh, just, just you know, be, be, be aware. I mean, is it enough for me to uh, want to stray away from, from the brand? And I don't know, but, you know, it's just something that uh, would like to be able to resolve it. You know, and I think that's something that, uh, you know, I've just seen here lately. It seems like the computer software and, and whatnot is becoming so advanced that it's making it difficult for them to sometimes be able to determine even what the, what, you know, what's causing an issue with the, with the vehicle. And um, as they get more and more technical, it's getting a little further away from what their, that appeal um in the past, you know, I guess, I guess, um, you know, it's just, uh, they're not as, uh, the utilitarian as they used to be. And, uh, anyway, you know, and I've, I've got a, a couple of Toyotas. I've, I've never had an issue. They're bulletproof on reliability. Um, and, uh, like I said, knock on wood, we've never had, a, uh, you know, a major issue with the, uh, with the Land Rovers, but, uh, um, you know, like I said, just this is this is perplexing. Um, I just wanted to share it. So anyway, uh, here in a minute we're gonna uh, just go on a little little five minute ride, and uh, we'll just see what happens. You know, we might get lucky and may 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 do it again. Uh, but I'm just trying to be able to 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 understand like what series of events is taking place um, when it does it, so we can try to narrow it down. Um, Anyway, 